Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I really just wanted to share with you guys my engagement story. I have been engaged for um for three months now, wow. I wanna go deep into what he did, was I surprised, and all the little cute stuff that you guys are probably curious on knowing, or maybe not, I don't know, but I just wanna share it. So if you wanna know my story, just keep watching. So I don't know if you guys all have already watched my Meet My Fiance video, it was the second video I ever posted on this channel. I really just wanted to share a video with my fiance because he is in the military he's a marine and he doesn't get to be with me always right now he is currently deployed so we took advantage of the time that he was down here and we did a video together anyway that's not the point of the video so brendan and i we always talked about marriage just because we knew we were in a long distance relationship and we knew we wanted to live together and we knew we wanted to be with each other so marriage talk was always like the main topic in our conversations i never thought that i was gonna feel 100 percent ready for this but when we started talking about it you know you know when you know so we talked about it for a while and we actually haven't been dating for that long we dated for well we we got to know each other for a whole year and then we started dating after that whole year and then um after six months of dating, he proposed to me. He came down to Florida. <laughs> I don't even know how he kept it a secret, but I already knew he was going to propose. Not exactly when, but I knew it was going to happen in a pre-deployment something. Anyway, so that day, I had no idea it was going to happen. Because his little trick was him telling me that he was going to do it on a pre-deployment leave, which was in August. And... That's what I had in mind. He's like, hey, you know, I'm not gonna surprise you. I'm just gonna propose to you on, a, on my pre-deployment leave. And I was like, okay, perfect. That works for me. I'll have my nails ready. I hate surprises. I didn't wanna be surprised. So him telling me that was like awesome for me. Like I was like, okay, like don't surprise me. I don't care. I'll act surprised in the picture. I don't know. It's really weird. A lot of people kept telling me why, but it's just the kind of person I am. I don't like being surprised. I love surprising people, but I don't like being surprised about anything. I like knowing <laughs> everything that's going on that's actually kind of bad actually but uh, it's just me i don't know so that day i remember he came down for 96 which for the ones that don't know that's what you call when they get like a four-day weekend um they give them the leave to go and visit their family or whatever they want to do stay on base or spend the day with their family so he came down to florida he drove down and he came to visit me the day before 4th of July, yeah, he was acting a little weird. And when he watches this, he's going to start laughing because I don't think I ever told him that. I noticed, I think it was on the 3rd of July, he's acting extremely weird. He was just being very like, um, what's it called? Very shady. He was like texting his mom the whole time. And then afterwards, he told me that that's what they were talking about. They were talking about how he was going to do it and he was nervous. So I just, we just continue with the day we hung out we were together pretty much all day then at night he went out with his family and we were just spending the whole day together then on 4th of July we got up that day and I think I went shopping because I wanted to buy me a 4th of July outfit so our plans for the day were to he was like hey you know it's 4th of July we're just gonna spend it with the family we're gonna go out to eat just me and you and then at night we're gonna go meet up with my father and we're gonna go to I think it was this park where they were gonna like throw the fireworks and whatever afterwards whether though i remember that when we were driving around trying to find stores at the mall it just started getting very cloudy it's florida it tends to rain every single fourth of july for some odd reason and so he's like hey like you know plans for tonight are canceled like we're not gonna go to the park we're not gonna watch fireworks because my father just said that they're not going and they're just gonna hang out in the house because it's gonna rain so i was like hey that's cool we can just go meet up with your father and hang out with him he's like all right so we drove to his cousin's house and we were just we just, when we got there we were just i don't know talking just watching tv just talking it was just me him his father his cousin and his father's fiance and we're just like you know chilling there it's gonna sound very weird but i really wanted to just go use the restroom and so when i went to the restroom apparently he said that after i went inside the restroom he went outside and he grab the ring from the car that ring was in the car so when i got out the restroom i saw him talking to his dad like he was just whispering something to his dad and i had no but i was like whatever like at that point i knew nothing was going on and so then he was like hey like you want to go to uh, you want to go for a walk at the park you wanted to go right and i was like yeah yeah let's go no actually no 
his father his father was like hey brandon like you should go take francis to a walk at the park and so we went when we were walking outside the neighborhood is so quiet the park was right in front of where um his cousin lived so i could hear them like screaming and laughing and i told brandon i was like can you hear them and he's like yeah yeah they're probably just like laughing at something they're watching or a movie or something and i was like okay that's weird we just left the house they weren't watching anything but we were there for like at least we lasted at the park for like five minutes and i was like hey babe it's getting hot let's go inside so when i was walking he's like wait francis i gotta ask you something I was like are you okay he's like oh you know i want to ask you a question i've been planning this for a while now and when he started saying all his words i knew where he was coming i was like are you serious this was me like are you serious right now i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys i don't remember everything else he said I completely blocked out I got extremely nervous I was like I can't believe this is happening like this is perfect this is exactly how I wanted it just just amazing I did not even let him finish his speech or his little romantic poem I stopped him and I touched his face while he was on one knee and I was like Brendan yes <laughs> he got up and he kissed and he put the ring on my finger they knew the whole entire time they were just um, they were laughing because they were watching from the window because Brandon had already told them that he was going to propose. So they were all laughing and that's why they were laughing. I had no idea what was going on. And I was shaking. I was wow. And his cousin was trying to record the whole entire thing. But um, it her phone started acting up. So we, we don't have any footage of the event, unfortunately. But it's all good. We'll get more than enough pictures for the um, for the wedding, which is fine. I don't mind it's not a big deal to me you know and so yeah and and after that like we we called all of our families members and friends his mom knew the whole time my mom knew the, obviously my mom my brother everyone knew except me and I he completely surprised me he got away with it because I didn't want to be surprised but it happened and I loved it it couldn't have been per any more perfect and I wish I could have relieved it all over again <laughs> it was just amazing after we were done calling calling our family members people at the neighborhood were already starting to throw fireworks so we just went outside and we sat on the chair with like the rest of the people in the house and we just sat there and talked and and we were watching the fireworks and it was so romantic and i loved it like i'll never forget that fourth of july perfect day to remember and oh wait i forgot after we're done calling our family members before we even went out we went for a quick walk afterwards and he just he was just telling me everything he didn't get to finish telling me because i didn't let him finish after that um him and, he actually decided to say a quick prayer and we both prayed together we held our hands and we prayed outside and we thank god for everything you know everything that we've been through in the little bit of time that we've known each other distance is definitely not easy it's definitely a a pretty pretty hard thing but our love is so strong that we conquer anything that comes our way and so yeah that's pretty much our story i am just so grateful for my fiance he is gonna make the best husband i'm just super blessed extremely blessed i don't even know what god ever saw in me to deserve such a wonderful man can't wait for him to get back and for us to start our lives together we are gonna get married when he gets back and our wedding will be next year. We're still, the date is still pending because we're still trying to think of a date. But um, yeah, I'm currently wedding planning. I don't know if you guys really would be interested in me starting a wedding planning series here on YouTube, just so I can share all of my wedding journey with you guys. If anybody out there is planning a wedding, just comment down below and I will think about it. I will definitely do a wedding series and yeah that's pretty much it we are counting down the days together for our special day our wedding is going to be the smallest thing ever it's going to be very private just family and our closest friends i just don't i want something very private very personal i will be moving to north carolina next year i am very excited for that i have been a floridian all my life so it's gonna be a big adjustment for me but i also do think that being with the love of my life is all I ever want and being away from them it's kind of hard so being with him it's gonna be wonderful and I'm very excited to start our lives together thank you guys so much for watching I truly appreciate all of you guys you'll have a wonderful and blessed day and stay tuned for more videos okay don't forget to subscribe like comment give it a big thumbs up 
whatever you want to do. And yeah, thank you. Bye.